We've got to stop thinking of homes as investments. We've got to start thinking of homes as, as, as homes again. So what do you think, when people are thinking about homelessness, what do you reckon the main image is that comes to mind? It's an image of street homelessness that most people think about. The, the, the criminal. Despair. Despair, yeah. You perceive it as if it's their problem and it, they're there for a reason. So what is it that really pisses you off about the way that homelessness is represented and portrayed? One of my really pet hates, like, you know, they're like, oh, it must be so nice being back in society. Well, I'm going to say, I didn't fucking leave. Do you know what I mean? Being walked by over and over again, I think, is one of the most damaging things. So even if someone approaches someone and does say something a bit stupid, as long as it's done with, with beautiful intentions, I think it's all right. We, we've got to have certain different structures in the housing sector. Because if you can't pick yourself up and you know, you're having to go onto the benefit system, then you're going to be stuck there. And it's not really about helping people, isn't it? Isn't it more about empowerment and people just being part of society? And what do you think about the power of stories to do that? Sorry about the noise. All right. So what happened there? Well, we just did a scan of your brain to see how it responded to pictures of different types of people, including uh, dehumanized people like the homeless. And what did, what did the scan show? Well, the really normal brain reaction, um, because in our culture, homeless people tend to be um, people that we don't want to think about their minds. We don't want to think about how much they're suffering. You can change your brain response um, simply by thinking about their minds. And an easy way to sort of get used to doing that is to listen to their stories. For instance, in Japan, you tend to find that homeless people there elicit sympathy instead of disgust and contempt, mainly because each person within that society knows someone who, because of some type of economic or natural disaster, was homeless at some point. And so people don't dehumanize those homeless people. And then you begin realizing quite automatically that they're just regular people uh, like you and me, and your brain response will change as well. So I found that there were periods where you had no roof over your head or you had nowhere to go and that's where the black plastic bag came in. And I can honestly say they've been, they've been a godsend. Do you know what, they're getting a lot of bad press at the moment because they're plastic and they don't die. But when you've got nowhere to put your stuff in and your whole life's falling apart, you just end up putting all your stuff in black plastic bags and they become your mates. Because of right to buy and the sell-off of social housing, which came in in 1980, so it's been a long time, but since 2012 alone, enough social housing has been sold into the private market to house the population of Oxford, and it hasn't been replaced. If you're fleeing domestic violence and there's no shelter for you to go to, which the government is shutting down right now, like left, right and centre, your option is to live on the street. I think one in four young homeless people is LGBTQ. For a lot of people, the family that you're born into doesn't work. For me especially, my mental health was severely um, bad when I was on the streets. You lose complete self-worth. And this is why it's so difficult for people to rebuild their lives. We've got to make spaces for people who are not able to live a mainstream life and for that to be viewed as a positive thing, even if it's not profitable. Everybody has a voice and society has taken some people's voices away. There isn't one story which isn't important. It's what builds everything about us. It's what makes us human. What do you want to say to the world? Fucking wake up. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's quite simple. The world needs to really fucking get a grip with itself and actually wake up to the problem, whether they give a pound or whatever to a charity or to a person on the street, or just sit there and talk to somebody and get to know somebody. Just wake the fuck up. It's that simple.